So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Our lesson is about radicals. The radical expression n truth of x. So this symbol that is the radical sign. Radical sign, this is a symbol which indicates roots of the number. How about x? x is the radical. Radical. This is the number inside the radical sign or the number whose roots are to be considered. So maybe number or variable. How about n? n, that is the index. The index must be small number which indicates the order of the radical. It tells what root is to be found. Let us find the indicated roots of the square root of 144. Square root of 144, that is exactly equals to 12. If we want to try to check 12 times 12, that is 144. How about example number 2? Square root of negative 9. If this is a square root of 9, the square root of 9 is exactly equal to 3. But then, this is the square root of negative 9. So, square root of negative 9, that is no real root. Why? If the value of the radicand is negative, and the index ends with 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10, so it means there is no real root. Despite the given radicand is a perfect square. How about number 3? Square root of 9 over 25. First, we need to solve the numerator. The square root of 9 is exactly equal to 3. Square root of 25, that is exactly equal to 5. If we try to check, if we multiply 3 times 3, that is 9. 5 times 5, the answer is 25. In example number 4, cube root of negative 8. The cube root of 8, that is equal to positive 2. So, do you think may sagot ba? Negative yung radical? Yes. If the value of the index ends with 3, 5, 7, and 9, so we have the answer that is negative. So, it means cube root of negative 8, that is equal to negative 2. In example number 5, let us find the indicated roots of the square root of 36x to the 4th. Square root of 36 is a perfect square. So it means the square root of 36 is equal to 6. How to solve for the variable? First, we need to write the base. After writing the base, what could be our exponent? So it means our exponent is 4 divided by the index that is 2. So, 4 divided by 2, that is equal to 2. So, it means, let us write, that is x and then square. So, the final answer is 6x square. How about number 7? Pip root of 32, x to the 5th, y to the 10th. Same with number 5 example. First, we need to identify the pith root of 32. It means 5 times to be multiplied that the answer is equal to 32. So that is equal to 2. If we try to check, 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. Times 2, that is equal to 32. While the variable, 5 divided by 5, that is 1. So x to the 1 or only x. Well, the value or the exponent of y, 10 divided by 5, that is 2. So, y squared. So, the final answer is 2xy squared. How about number 7? Square root of 49, a squared, b to the 8. Square root of 49 is a perfect square that is exactly equal to 7. Well, the variable... A, let us copy, and then let us divide the exponent 2 
divided by 2, that is equal to 1. So, a to the 1 or a only. While b, 8 divided by 2, that is equal to 4. So, b to the 4th. So, the final answer is 7ab to the 4th. How about number 8? Square root of 121, x to the 6th, y to the 4th. Square root of 121 is a perfect square that is equal to 11. How about the variable x? So let us divide the exponent 6 divided by 2, that is 3. So that is x cubed. While y, the exponent is 4. So 4 divided by 2, that is y squared. So the final answer is 11x cubed y squared. How about number 9? Square root of a to the 4th all over 9b to the 6th. First, we need to identify the exponent of a that is 4. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. So a and then square. How about the denominator? The square root of 9 is exactly equal to 3. And then while the base b, 6 divided by 2, that is equal to 3. So the final answer is a squared all over 3b cubed. How about number 10? Square root of 10 to the 4th power, a to the 10, b to the 18. First, we need to copy the base 10. And then let us divide the exponent. 4 divided by 2, that is equal to 2. So 10 squared. How about the variable? Copy the base a. 10 divided by 2, that is equal to 5. So a to the 5th power. While b, 18 divided by 2, that is 9. So 10 times 10, that is equal to 100. And then copy a to the 5th, b to the 9. So the final answer is 100, a to the 5th, b to the Nine. Instruction Find the indicated roots. Provide your answers in the comment section. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.